So Simon, what's going on at Everton? They signed Connor Cody from Wolves. It's a season-long loan. I mean, as I said in the introduction, is it surprising Wolves have willingly let go one of their biggest dressing room leaders? We'll get to the reasons in a second. Connor's thrilled. I'll be honest with you, he's been incredible. It's a, it's an honour and a privilege to, to get to work under him. If I'm being honest with you, the first conversation I had with him, it was a little bit surreal. If I'm being honest, because one of the greatest English players of all time, one of the greatest midfielders, and I was on the phone to him, and it was probably one of the best phone calls I've ever had, I'll be honest with you, I had goosebumps when I was speaking to him and he was kind of explaining the football club and he didn't really have to explain it, if I'm being honest, because I know all about it, but in terms of what he wanted to do and how he wanted to improve and where he wanted to go, I think it was an incredible part of it as well. So I think just listening to the way he speaks about the club, the passion he has for the club, for the city and how he wants to improve was, was something that was just amazing to hear, I'll be honest, yeah. From the- so, I mean, from Wolves' point of view, Simon, the suggestion is it's a change in the Bruno Large formation that has seen him leave. But as far as Everton's concerned, that's smart business in that part of the, the, the pitch, is it not? Tur- Tur- Tarkovsky yeah. in, Cody yeah. in. I mean, my God, well, they've I, stiffened that. I mean, I, I very and much... And they spend nothing. I very much like him. I think he epitomises a lot of good things that often we don't speak about, which is culture, character, backbone, substance, decency. I think if you look at this particular player, he embodies all those things. And I think there's an element of the reasons why Wolves have been perhaps cooperative in allowing him to go out to a potential, albeit weakened rival, is because of the respect that the player has earned and the respect that he's given the club that he's played for. Um, I think it's a great signing. I don't know how he will work in that back four because it's a weak back four at Everton. And obviously, they're trying to improve it with Tarkowski coming in. They've we'll, still got questions we'll to ask. Shape. They'll change the shape. I think it's a great signing for Everton. If nothing else, the boy will bring substance and backbone into that side and leadership qualities, and I think they can't be underestimated. Yeah, having said that, do Everton still face another season of survival? Possibly. I think they need another striker because Dominic Calvert-Lewin... He's injured again. Um, Absolutely. Rondon's not the answer. Yeah. And um, yeah, you need to score goals to stay in division. One of the reasons why I think Fulham will stay up is because I think Mitrovic, he's hit the ground running, he's confident. He's already proved it against one of the best teams in the Premier League. That'll give him a whole heap of confidence. And um, Everton haven't got that at the moment. They haven't got that goal threat. You know, you're bringing on Deli Alley in the second half, thinking that he's going to be getting goals and playing in that false nine. We see Manchester United do it yesterday, uh, the other day. Yeah. It's ridiculous. You need a striker who's going to stretch teams. We'll talk about Steven Gerrard later and Ollie Watkins. You need a striker that's going to turn teams and threaten him behind so they don't press the And that's the a challenge for here. Everton. Defending keeps you in a game, scoring goals wins you a game. And they don't, I don't think Dominic Calvert Luna is going to repeat the performances he had a couple of years ago. I think he that was a moment, to, a moment in time. At it, it? Yeah. yeah and I think Everton are going to struggle if they can't find someone to obviously to score goals. Show up the back line, give yourself a chance in the game, but you need to win games as well, and that comes from scoring goals. And I yeah. agree. I agree with Simon about Conor Cody. I think he's an absolutely superb player. You know, when you talk about a defensive player, you want reliability. Yeah. You want a leader. You want communication. He you does all them things. Well. He does all them things superbly well. And in a free, I think he's he's one of the best. I really do one of the best sure. in the Premier League. But. I'm not sure Wolves have done themselves any favours. I was at well, the game. I was at the game at Ellen Road. Yeah, they played with a with a four. Um, they missed. I think they missed. Matino wasn't in there, but Neves played. They missed it, and and Leeds were like a rash. All well, see, that's them. a good point, Trevor. Is it surprising that Wolves have willingly let go one of their biggest dressing room leaders? Wolves fans, what do you think? He's gone. Cody's gone. That's it. He's wearing an Everton shirt for the rest of the season. O three seven one seven double two double three double four are the reasons strong enough for his departure. Send me a message if you want to eight ten eighty nine Evertonians. Do you like what you see at the back now? Tarkowski in from Burnley. Cody in from Wolves. It hasn't cost you a bean. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.